Hi guys, welcome to the Wealth Startup channel. We are a video book channel showing the topics about making money online with internet marketing. Please click the subscribe button to empower us to continue making more video books. Today's video book continues with the topic, How to Host a Webinar, Beginner's Guide to Webinars. In this video, we are going to talk about Conclusion and Summary, Next Action. If you missed the last video, Please click the link in the description to watch it later on, so that you will have a full picture of understanding. If you also want to have the text version of this video book, you can refer to the download instructions that's stated in the description. OK, let's get started. Conclusion and Summary Now that you know what the steps are that you need to take in order to get your webinar business off the ground, you can take action. Let's review what we've covered so far. Webinars are some of the most effective ways to promote a product, service, or business. People actually pay attention to what the speaker is saying when they attend webinars, and they are more likely to buy a product from someone that they trust. Preparing your webinar is the most important thing that you can do to make sure that everything runs smoothly. The first thing that you should look at is whether or not you have the equipment to run a successful webinar. Do you have a computer that has multiple cores and plenty of RAM so that you can load web browsers, start programs instantly, and be able to run multiple items at once, including the platform? You also need a good quality microphone and HD webcam. In addition, you want to make sure that you are on a wired connection rather than Wi-Fi. After your equipment is in order, you want to choose your topic. Look at the niche that you are in and find a topic within that niche that people will want to learn about. Your next step will be to promote your webinar. You can do this in a multitude of ways. The most popular way to get people to sign up for a webinar is by sending out email invitations, but you can also use forum signatures, email signatures, conventional web advertising, and much more to get attendees. You'll need to do a great deal of preparation including recording yourself giving the webinar so that you can correct any on-camera or speech problems. You will also want to do at least one full dress rehearsal where you go through the entire webinar with a few friends watching just as if it was live. This should prevent problems when you actually do go live. We moved on to the things you need to do during your webinar. There is an entire chapter devoted to being the best presenter possible, including facial expressions, body language, and other things that you should be aware of if you want to hone yourself into a great presenter. We also discussed handling questions at length, including some examples that should show you the right way to answer an attendee's questions and how you can manage them better during your presentation. Partnering with someone or having guest speakers talk during your webinar can make the event much more valuable to the attendees who will be going. If you get the right people, you can attract a huge number of attendees, even if you are charging admission. In addition, there may come a time in the future when you have large enough webinars that you need to hire staff to help you run them. Monetizing your webinar can be done one of a couple of different ways, but the most important thing is that you create a call to action all throughout your webinar. Then you can decide whether you want to charge admission for attending your webinar, or if you want to bring people in for free, and then try to use another revenue source, like an ebook, to make money from the event. There were also tips on how to make sure the people currently attending your webinar come back for the next one. You can create a business from archived webinars that you have done in the past as well. Next action. You have everything you need to get started with the perfect webinar. You know how to choose a topic and what to do to make sure that it is engaging and holds people's interest. You also know how to monetize it and make sure that people return. The next step from here is to attend a couple of webinars and see how other people run them. You can find them on a variety of subjects, even on running webinars, so you should have no problem attending one that fits your interests. That's the end of this video. If you also want to have the text version of this video book, you can refer to the download instructions that's stated in the description. We have many other video books on the channel. Continuing learning will enrich your mindset and prepare you to be successful. Please take a look at my channel. Bye bye.